fifth workout of the week. My split is set up in a way that I've never been, you know, done one before. I have fucking back and triceps. Today I have shoulders and biceps. And like these pumps like are stupid. And like I never knew they went together. Like who ever heard of a lat and tricep pump? I haven't, but it's silly when you get it. So a big thing that I'm noticing about these workouts already being basically a whole week through because I have five days on, two days off a week. There's a lot of volume in this sport. A lot. Like a lot. And I know like the pump is here. Like we, we're killing biceps and my shoulders are on 10. Yeah, I like the way this shit's going already. It's gonna be a fun off season, definitely. It's going on YouTube. Dude I think I say something about it every single video, but right now my face is going through so many like ups and downs with just how fat and puffy it is. I've come to learn that a lot of times when you eat a super high sodium meal a few hours before bed, you will wake up with your face feeling fat. Look at this. Like, look at this. That's horrible. <laughs> Anyways, we got the official off season plan. I'm sipping on my coffee this morning. Contrary to popular belief, I will not just be eating whatever I want. I will not just be going into the gym and having a good time. There is a very direction focused, a very goal specific strategy to this eight to 10 month off season. So let's jump right into it. So first of all, what we're doing right now is reverse dieting. Coming out of the show, you put on fat very easily. So. I had about a week and a half to myself. I ate the foods that I wanted, and now we're back on track. So right now I'm eating 2,500 calories, about 275 grams of carbs, about 65 grams of fat, and about 210 grams of protein. Week by week, that will slowly increase until we get to a more stable amount. The idea here is to put fat on at a slow rate while maximizing um, lean tissue gain. We're keeping 95% of the foods I've been eating on prep and just slowly increasing the portions week by week up until what they were at, you know, maybe like a week or two into the cut, and then we're gonna go above that. And that's what I'm excited for. I'm trying to be eating around like 4k calories a day that would make me a very happy dude but we'll see if we can get there without getting you know too fat i want to stay around 10 percent body fat over this entire uh off season i don't want to get overly fat all right so included on my plan is two cheat meals so they're built in so it's wednesday and sunday i get chick-fil-a on wednesday and qdoba on sunday it's important to remember that we are not in prep anymore so there is room for a little bit of freedom you know just to for sanity and to have some sort of you know variety and fun with your eating it doesn't need to be regimented a hundred percent of the time maybe more like 90 or 95 percent of the time so Monday morning when I got back on my plan, on my diet, I started out with my morning weight fasted being at 179.3. It is now Thursday, so four days later, and we're at 177.2 pounds. So that's what four days of cutting out the bullshit and just hopping back on track can do for you. That just gives proof to the saying, it's never too late to hop back on track. Or what did I hear the other day? I, I read it or something. It's like... Um, you're only one day away from being back on track, something like that. Like, dude, I lost over two pounds in four days literally just by cleaning up my eating and not even going in this huge deficit. I'm still at 2,500 calories. That's a lot. That's still like a lot of food. So, I mean, that that's that, that's beautiful, honestly. So, hundred, we're, we're gonna say 179 pounds was the start of this bulk, and we're gonna see where we go from here. I think we're gonna keep going down, and then we're gonna start going up. We're gonna get serious this off season about putting on muscle because I got about 10, 10, 12 pounds to add. So I'm gonna finish my coffee here. I'm only like halfway through this cup. Usually it would have been gone by now and I would have been filling up another one, but uh, I'm gonna finish my coffee here and uh, let's see you guys in the next clip. All right, what is going on with y'all? So first of all, let's, let's address this lighting situation. This shit is crispy. Big, big, big shout out 
to my boy Dev, which is also my barber, for hooking me up with that this dope ring light, dude. Like, this is gonna bring a whole nother element to my videos now that I have like nice lighting. I can arrange the scenery, my background and stuff now, and not have to sit in front of a big ass window. We're about to do something pretty exciting right now. So as you guys know, there's another summer shredding show in October. My boy Caden is competing in it. Man, I'm flying out. I'm flying out. I'm bringing Eli, my videographer. And we're gonna get some silly footage of the weekend. I wanna prepare for this ahead of time, you know, just so like there's, there's no surprises, you know, buying plane tickets and trying to get everything arranged like two, three weeks out from the actual show. Uh, and that's the other thing. Plane tickets two weeks ago were 250 bucks, and I was like, "Damn, that's that's uh, that's 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 250 bucks is a lot of money." But then again, like for a plane ticket, that's not too bad because now they're at 315. Two weeks later, like I'm gonna hop on it now. All in all, this off season, guys, is gonna be. I think it's gonna be more structured than anything I'm used to doing. But with that structure, keeping myself to a more strict set of standards is only gonna provide growth throughout the off season. And man, we need to grow. That is one thing we need to do a lot of. But I will keep you guys updated. This expect this to be a series. This off season to be documented very well. But you guys already know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell. And as always, I will see you in next week's video.